without further ado, let's just dive in to lesson number two. And so check this out. We need uh, really just two types of tools set up to do this. You need your professional email calendar and you need your cal calendar automation tool. And what do we want these tools to accomplish at the end of the day, all right? We want them to really do a couple of things to make our lives a lot easier. First, check my calendar for conflicts, okay? Make sure you're not gonna double book me. You know, that's the first thing you're gonna train an assistant on or, or you know, figure out how to do for yourself is check your calendar for conflicts. Automate that now. You know, you wanna also add the appointment to your calendar with the right location, whether that's a phone number or a Zoom link or descriptive information, whatever it is, automate that invite. It's added to your calendar and your guest calendar. And here's my favorite. You can automate the email. I call it auto magic because you can really automatically email and text your guests before and after the event or meeting. And you can also send yourself a notification. So I'll show you how to implement all of this inside of Calendly. And the best part, of course, is like we could keep this all in one place to track and manage it all, go back and look at our appointments. There's a lot of different tools out there that can accomplish a version of this, okay? And honestly, some of them are more complicated than they need to be. So if you're going to look to me to make that decision for you, my recommendation is Google Calendar, G Suite account, get that going, and Calendly. But if you're somebody who wants to do your research, I don't blame you. By all means, you'd want to do it. Download these slides. I got this hyperlinked. This is HubSpot. They did an overview of uh, what they thought were the 18 best appointment tools, including their own. But we're going to do mine, all right? We're going to go into Calendly. And I like it because it's simple. And that's it. It's so simple. Uh, and it's sleek. And uh, I can do what I need with it. And like I mentioned, before you go set up your Calendly account, you need to have a professional email. All right? I don't want to see any unprofessional emails, all right, for your Calendly. If you need help setting stuff up like G Suite, then I recommend you go to uh, my upcoming class, Art of Digital Networking, where I'll teach you how to set it up. So let's just keep it moving. So let's just keep it moving to lesson number three. <laughs>